All right, this is a Korean Christianity. This is Mark Harris. Oh, I usually don't say my last name. This is Mark. Um, you know, women want, or women want a player. You know, and maybe I'll have this be the first video in a series on sex, marriage, and children or whatever. Women want a player. They'll marry a player. They'll date a player. What happens nowadays was different than when I was a kid. And I think even different than when I was growing up. People will live with each other. I mean, even when I was a child, even when I was an adult, I think, it was different. <clears throat> Back in the 90s, I was an adult, a young adult. People used to date and they might have sex, but I don't know exactly what people do, but... It, in their privacy, I don't know, but the people used to used to a date and maybe and I guess they had sex and then they'd say, okay, let's get married, you know. But now people kind of live together for ten years. They say, okay, I bought a ring, and I'm thinking, for what? Or they won't get married at all, you know. Hey, you know, I'm not giving Christian advice when I say this, but do what you want. You know, there are people that are like this and like that and like the other. Do what you want. You know, that's not my Christian advice. But women want a player. They want somebody that looks like a good guy. I say, oh, they'll say, oh, I want a good guy. And they, and they find the good guy and they say, well, he's boring. I want, and they say, well, I want a good guy that's exciting. And there are, but those good guys don't sleep around, and that's what they want. They want both. They want they want to burn the candle at the end, hold the middle, and not burn their fingers. Burn the candle at both ends, hold the middle, and not burn their fingers. Um, as the Bible describes a woman like that, they say it says a, a gold ring in a in a pig snout. So the gold, everybody look at the gold and the ring, and the gold is valuable and the ring is beautiful. And they look at the gold ring and they ignore the pig. And that's what women want. Women, women want a bad guy, you know. And they get older, they change their mind a little bit, they want somebody a little more stable, but they basically want a player. They want a guy that beats people up and that's not a good guy. Um, they want a guy, they want a man who, um, has a lot of experience and, um, is not a good guy, a lot of sexual experience, you know, unless the person is converted to Christ. And I would say for all of my Christian viewers, you want somebody who's converted to Christ, not only converted to Christ, but solid in Christ. That means no pornos. You know, he's trying to live a straight, straight the um, narrow and compressed way is what the scriptures say. The Bible says straight and narrow, but uh, it's narrow and compressed way. Uh, straight is, or narrow is the gate and compress the way that leads to life and few there are that find it. You know, you got these women, they're racking up what they call now the body count. It used to be body count with somebody was when somebody killed a certain number of people in a war or something, or a murder. But people are, you know, women are looking for love in all the wrong places and finding it very easily. You know, it's really a good thing to read Proverbs all the way through. Uh, the first 10 chapters are about this, but people don't get bored with the 10 chapters. And then I'd read... Um, Proverbs 29, I think Proverbs 29, at least Proverbs 30 and 31. You know, women say they want quality, but they keep on choosing um, the candy. You know, they don't, want the, they don't want the meat and the vegetables. They want the ice cream and the cake and everything like that. And then they get sick. They say, what's happening with my life? But that's what women want. They want somebody that will lie to them, that will say, I'm a good guy. They want somebody even looks like a good guy, but they really want the bad guy. That's what women want. And maybe I will start this um, 
this part of my blog, I wanted to wait a little longer uh, to do that. I was thinking about doing that. I wasn't sure whether I'd do that, but start a blog on sex, marriage, and children. Um, sleeping around happens. You know, I wouldn't say it happens. People do it. Uh, sometimes it is like sex slavery. We're, we're hearing about that in the United States, sex slavery. And the government doesn't do much about it. You know, they facilitate it. Um, but um, people who voluntarily go out there and, and have sex and have sex and have sex and have sex, if they don't come to Christ, they're no good. Men or women. But women are looking for the bad guy. The guy that has had a lot of sex. And they get upset, and they get mad, and they, they get hurt, and they're afraid, and they run away and call the police and all this stuff. The very police the left wants to, to defund. The very police, very police that the left doesn't want to be there, they want to get a social worker out there to talk to somebody. Maybe a social worker with a gun, I don't know. They want the social worker out there saying, okay, what upsets you? You want to talk it over with him? Let's talk it over with him. You know, and, you know, this cycle repeats, you know, where you're with some guy. I mean, because people will say, well, I got married once or I got married twice, but they're still doing this cycle. You marry somebody like that, they're going to be keep on doing it to you uh, even after they're married. You, you know, the, 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 the bad guy is going to keep on cheating on you because that's how he got you in the first place. He cheated on his wife or he cheated on his girlfriend or he broke up and got you. You know, and people do that kind of stuff. You need to look for a Christian man if you're a woman. Because, but, but women love the bad guy.